orphan, destitute, determined. Three words that describe the humble beginnings of Alexander Hamilton, one of America's most unlikely founding fathers. Hamilton was born on the small island of Nevis in the Caribbean in the mid-1750s. The exact year is unknown. His father abandoned the family and his mother died shortly thereafter, leaving the young Alexander alone and virtually penniless. But Alexander Hamilton was determined to make something of his life. He became a clerk with a local trade firm and flourished. Impressed with Hamilton's abilities, community leaders established a fund to send him to the North American colonies for his formal education. Hamilton arrived in New York on the eve of the American Revolution. He joined a Continental Army militia group, which became an artillery company after it successfully captured British ammunition. Hamilton was named captain. After the Battle of Trenton in 1776, Hamilton was invited to serve as General George Washington's chief of staff. He handled Washington's correspondence with Congress and colonial governors, as well as intelligence gathering and strategizing with other officers. Hamilton thrived in his position, as Washington reflected in a 1781 letter. This I can venture to advance from a thorough knowledge of him that there are few men to be found of his age who has a more general knowledge than he possesses, and none whose soul is more firmly engaged in the cause. After the war, Hamilton was appointed to the Congress of the Confederation, but resigned to practice law in New York. In 1787, he served as a member of the New York delegation at the Constitutional Convention. Having seen the disorganization and decentralized nature of the Continental Army during the Revolution, Hamilton believed that the United States needed a strong central government rather than a loose confederation of states. During the Constitutional Convention, Hamilton helped write the Federalist Papers, along with fellow delegates John Jay and James Madison. In Federalist 11, Hamilton made a rallying cry for a strong union let the 13 states bound together in a strict and indissoluble union, concur in erecting one great American system, superior to the control of all transatlantic force or influence. After the ratification of the Constitution, Hamilton served as the first Secretary of the Treasury under President George Washington. As Secretary, he established the United States Mint and the first Bank of the United States. His ideas and actions, however, were not well received, and he made many political enemies. Alexander Hamilton's life came to a tragic end on July 11, 1804, after he was shot during a duel with his political rival, Vice President Aaron Burr. Hamilton died of his wounds the next day. Although Hamilton only lived to his early 40s, his achievements live on as a reminder of what can be accomplished with grit and determination in the face of adversity.